Josh, I can't put your name on the producer's thing because it's I not just, a straight line. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but, He's giving you 85 we'll, million. I know, it's awesome. But we'll both know that you did it. Yep. Hey, what's up, JK Party Animals? Today, we have a special treat because we have Steve and Casey with us today. Yay! We are playing the game by the rights because these guys are writing a movie and we just want to hear them pitch their movie ideas to us. Sell that movie. Right, so Tiff, Nikki, <laughs> me, and Josh Hush. are all producers Josh. and we're waiting to hear all of y'all's movie pitches. Mm -hmm. and what's maybe your production we'll, company Maybe name? we'll fund it. Maybe yeah, we'll what's your production it? company name? Yeah. Just kidding, Bill. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. We're gonna, we're gonna on, pitch to Just Kidding Films. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, that's the only thing I can think of. Uh, okay. Mine will be called Dessert Bar Co. Dessert Bar Co? Yeah, yeah. I like that, it's yeah. delightful. Yeah, that's delightful. your production company? Yeah. That's your pitch for your production company? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to explain myself when I have all the money. Oh. You're begging oh. for this. That is how it is, that is You're how You're begging it is. for this right now, so you gotta be nice And I have me. a lot of notes on your movie. Nice. Because I need to put my stamp on it. Because you need to be in the movie. I need to put my stamp on it. What's your <laughs> film called? Picky <laughs> Nicky Films? No. <laughs> I like that. Picky Nicky. I like Picky Nicky. <laughs> picky Nicky <laughs> Films. Because you're picking the film. With That's mine. pretty good. Huh? What was one for me? Oh, I gotta think of your. I thought you were just kidding. Films. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just kidding, Phil's just kidding. <laughs> okay, Blue Hair Productions. Blue Hair Productions. Yeah. Yeah. But that used to be Julia. What is your color? Lavender? What is that? No, it's it's now a weird bluish gray. Periwinkle. Yeah. Oh, it's gray. It's Periwinkle. Yeah. Periwinkle. Oh, That's it. a cool production company. Yeah. Iffy, 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 Iffy Films. Okay. Because you're oh. iffy about it. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. They never make a movie. They're just totally yeah, like, yeah. She's just <laughs> never funds a movie because she can't. We're taking pictures on our company's name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Iffy, Iffy. Right. I like so that. So the that way. So the way these guys are going to pitch the game to us is that we have four different categories. One is the genre, one is an adjective or the descriptor, one is our main character, our hero, and the green ones are the plots of the movie. All right, so... I got one, I got one. Gosh Josh Productions. I like it. I nice! Osh, gosh, Taking it. Gosh. Well, Osh, gosh, but God, Josh. Josh. Osh, gosh, but Josh. All right, let's start! So we're going to hear, as producers, all of your guys' pitches, and we're going to think about who we're gonna give our monies to. Okay. No, you can't steal it. You have to earn it. Who's Art. first? Okay. So the first one, oh, and you guys have one minute each. Oh, son of a bitch, you didn't tell me about a time. I totally <laughs> forgot, but I just remembered that. Okay. Oh. That changes the game. Do you I gotta talk faster. That's why Hollywood talk? people talk so oh, fast. Oh, yeah. 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 Time is time. Let me take I just remembered right now. It's just one minute. It's like an auction here. Yeah. Yeah. I got a perfect idea for you. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, Hey, I got this movie, you see? It's gonna be the great. You're gonna be a star, you see? Okay. I'm gonna make you rich and famous, you see? <laughs> Joe, since you seem oh, really hyped. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> since you seem really hyped, we're right. gonna go first, all right? Woo. One minute starts okay. now. Coming 2020, you see? There's gonna be a political thriller. Mm. His name is Senor Trump, and he is a brainwashed beef farmer in Mexico. <laughs> mm. And what he needs to do is become the president of the United States of America. But if, before he does that, he needs to find Excalibur and go on a quest <laughs> to find the legendary wizard Merlin, because Merlin is gonna unlock the secrets, his true secrets, because he was born American. He's also an illegal immigrant, I forgot to tell you that. Oh, I mean, you still got 30 seconds left. Oh, so oh, it's like, too fast. Yeah, yeah. it's a little too fast. So he's an illegal immigrant, and then he's like in America, and then like he's like, well, I ha my dream is to be president. I have to be president to save the world. And then, um, but then, but then, what ends up happening is that they're like, you can't because you're not a citizen. And then Merlin makes him a citizen, and voila, mm. he can be the presidente. I thought he remembered uh. he was a citizen. Uh -uh. No, Merlin makes him. A what citizen. party yeah. is he representing? <laughs> Because uh, I have strong views as a producer. I mean, in Hollywood, <laughs> he's liberal, a thousand percent. It's Hollywood. Mm -hmm. But we want some wins of in my world, he's the Green Party. Oh, oh the nice Green Party. party. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, underdog. Green, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, play, played by who? Oh, uh, it's played by name's attached? Donald Trump. Oh. Donald Trump is going to play Donald Trump. That's polarizing. Yeah. That's very but, but, polarizing. But, 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 but we're going to go throughout his life, and, and he used to be Democratic, mm. right? So he's 70. Will he play? Will he be 20 in this movie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they could do the age. Yeah. I thought so. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. And then, and then um, it's a biopic. Mm. 
Yeah, it's a biopic. It's it's just it's just his uh, how he became a U.S. citizen is the story. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How much uh, are you asking for this movie? Uh, I mean, it's gonna be hard because the you I mean he's a billionaire, you know? Like we gotta make we gotta do it right. So I need a billion dollars. Mm. Uh, Steve. Uh, but let's focus more on the beet farmer part okay. here and not the Trump part. Okay. Got it. Okay, ready? Beet farmer part. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. I didn't even sell the beet farmer part. It was just the Trump yeah, part. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And he's and he's actually Mexican. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the thing. It's like Donald oh, Trump. Yeah. So a Mexican yeah. Donald Trump. But he's playing himself. It's it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like Hitler was Jewish, but then like it's like oh wow, we didn't know that. Oh, like your your pitching is done. Your pitching's done. No, no, he's yeah, buying he time. Was, he's buying time. See, please go. I had to let the secret out. He was. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is, uh, I hope you guys like horror movies. This is a 100% horror movie. Ooh, um, I like horror movies. It's about a, he is a con artist. Mm-hmm. He has got made a living selling shitty amusement park rides that he knows are defaulty. Oh my gosh, um, that's the worst. Yeah, and uh, he, but he's also uh, a brutally honest man in his own personal life, mm-hmm. right? With his wife. Um, and one day, he finds himself uh, trapped at one of the carnivals. Oh, I said he's a carnivals. He finds himself trapped at one of the carnivals that's filled with all of his parts, and he has to rescue his wife as they are both fighting off the murderous malfunctioning machine <laughs> that he created. Mm. <laughs> so, so the machines killed his wife. They attack him and his wife, and he has to get. So they're they're both trapped there. They both went there for a leisurely afternoon, but then he slowly starts to realize that those are his rides, which he mm. he designed and he knows are shitty. So he didn't know that in the beginning. Sounds like he a didn't, spin-off. He of didn't five know when he got there. Uh, does the lead have to be a male? Because you know we're looking <laughs> yes. for female-driven movies we don't right want now. It to they're be female, very no. very popular. No, we, this is a Time's male. Time's up, only. sir. Sorry. He is a straight. <laughs> he, is a, he is a straight <laughs> white <laughs> male. Mm-hmm. Only. <laughs> The whole cast. And we won't budge. The whole yeah, cast is straight white. Even the wife. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's a straight white male. Everybody's a straight white male. The wife is a straight white male. Everybody. Yep. Everybody. The amusement park rides are all played by straight white males. Mm. <laughs> I like it. This sounds you. like the sequel to his movie. <laughs> this is a good film. Yeah. Josh, do you have any questions for Steve? Hmm. Played by who? Nicholas Cage. That's <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I told you, didn't I? Yeah, that was a good film. Do you know who that is? No, I don't. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Marshall right. Treasure. Moving on, Bart. Mm-hmm. Please. All right. Your movie. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, cool. So mine's a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Uh, my movie is not starring a straight white male. It's actually starring oh. a circus bear. Okay. Good luck with that. <laughs> and, and I know you females love animals, but unfortunately, this a bear. Circus bear. Yes, a female. <laughs> A minority circus bear. How do you know it's not an LGBTQ circus bear? (laughs) (laughs) So this bear has gone through the worst of the worst in a circus to the point where it's become, (laughs) bless you, you. non-confrontational. It's a very, very circus bear. It's been tormented. It's been punished. Finally, this bear was like, you know what? I had enough and he freed himself. He was not getting the honey that he's always wanted to get and he left. And now here's his chance to inherit a whimsical candy factory where he gets to get all the sweets that he wants. But what's crazy about this movie is that it's based on a true story and it's a historical epic (laughs) and it will be directed by uh, James Cameron. I want to see that, bear. The candy factory, that. like just candy made out of honey. Yes, with the, it's it's like a, a block of honey with a little bee in the, in the middle. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, why not a honeycomb? Uh, that's maybe maybe that. <laughs> Something more edible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, does it have to be James Cameron? Why not his wife, uh, Oscar-winning? Uh, uh, fuck uh, James Cameron. Uh, uh, Mrs. Cameron. Yeah, Mrs. Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Cameron. Yeah. Yeah. Famously known as Mrs. Cameron. Don't think it's uh, her last name. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck James. Catherine. <laughs> 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 I'm down with Mrs. Nicolo. Spielberg. Nicolo. Jesus. Mrs. Nolan. Hey, Mrs. Oscar Cameron. Winner, <laughs> Catherine Bigelow. She's his ex-wife, though. Huh? I'm right. down with all of them. I'm down with all of them. Yeah. Oh, they're trying to find who the Cameron is. It's Susie, Susie Amos Cameron? No, that's probably mm-hmm. his that present right? wife. Or We're talking about Catherine yeah. Bigelow, Catherine who's one Bigelow. of the Oh, Bigelow. Catherine Bigelow, yeah. Is Winner. that Deuce Bigelow's wife? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she, she, it's his first wife. Yeah, Catherine Bigelow. It's, it's... Dude, that fucking raisin has all kinds of ladies. Deuce Bigelow? Oh, there used to be a sequel. Mm-hmm. What would it be about? 
Well, the sequel now is, uh, see this bee that melts from the candy? Yeah. He's also been impressed. He's been inside this honey candy this whole time. So he flies out and we see it and it goes into another world. That's dumb. Kind of time travels, yeah. Oh, to a rainbow, that movie. To a rainbow world. What nice. era did this take place in historically? Oh, this was in the 1940s to like 1990s. I see. To 1990s? Wow. <laughs> 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 1940s? I mean, the, <laughs> the, the circus industry had hell of a run. So. <laughs> Oh, sorry, yeah, how, how, how old 50 is this years old. <laughs> uh, it depends. So it's shot like a Nolan movie where it goes, cuts back and forth. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so oh just, okay, okay. Uh, that really pieces it all together. You know that. Right, but yeah, directed that. by James Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Think, He's think, a Nolan fan. I think we're good. I think we're good on hearing that. Casey. You know that Barnum and Bailey <laughs> circus? He's like, I really want to do, do some Nolan no shit. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, but I could always put it back together the way you want. Just edit. It's just all in the editing. <laughs> That and Barnum so and like, Bailey circus thing is gone. Yeah. Sure is. Mm. I never, never been went. to one. No. It's pretty depressing. I've yeah. heard I watched the commercials as a kid, but I never went. I went but to they're one. not around anymore? No what kid. was it like? It was sad. Like what made it sad though? Oh, like, just uh, cause yeah, I'm a pretty self-aware person, so when I was yeah. there, I could tell that the animals weren't having fun. Oh. But uh, the kids all think that. <laughs> but I mean, um. if the tiger is riding a unicycle, how sure are you that they're not having fun? Well, the tiger's definitely having fun on the unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the outliers. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool. All right, Casey, please present <laughs> us your pitch. Juggling on a unicycle right. with a party hat, you know? That's, That's just, just a fun time. Just yeah. All right, so we just came out of the weekend of the Super Bowl. Yeah. We are all very sports-centric right now, I believe, totally. yes? So we're talking an inspirational sports oh. drama, all right? And when's the last time you've guys seen a sports drama on a professional mm. bowler? Oh, never. I'd watch that movie. Oh, I've seen okay. that. I saw a Disney movie about bowlers. Sports drama, Pro professional bowler. Yeah, okay. okay. Now, he is the reigning Boston. champion, reigning champion of the of the of the Los Angeles bowling team, team, team yeah, <laughs> yeah, community, unfortunately yes, yeah. tournament. Mm -hmm. unfortunately. And uh, unfortunately, uh, on his uh, the high rollers, you have 15 seconds. Oh, he swings, <laughs> he he rolls one, and a pin flies out and smashes him in the face. And uh, now he's easily distracted because he got some sort of brain shit. And, oh, and now no. uh, <laughs> brain shit. he got brain now he shit. likes to rent cabins in the woods, and he likes to bowl with uh, his group of friends on Halloween with uh, pumpkins. Hmm. Oh, I, I just him. had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> you could call him the pumpkin king. What was the last part? Yeah, we didn't quite uh, do that. He likes renting cabins in the woods with a group of friends on Halloween. And, and in which he uses pumpkins. his bowling talents, though, with pumpkins. But he can't Jack remember why he, why he bowls and so well. He can't remember, though. Mm. He really That's why he's no longer a professional bowler, though. He got mm. easily distracted. Now mm. he's renting cabins. I Wait, question. Renting cabins. Question. Yes. If he's a professional bowler and now he's bowling with his friends, wouldn't his friends remind him about the whole? But he's thing? easily distracted, so his friends keep telling him, but he's like, and then he just goes back to bowling with pumpkins. It's a simple answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you really think about it. So I know you said it's like a, you said it was a sports drama. Is that what you were yes. saying? Yes. Okay. Uh, where, where's the drama part? Inspirational. The so drama is in the easily distracted. The drama is in oh. the fact that he was once so great, and and now it's you know it's it's. Cabins and Halloween jack lanterns. It sounds like a comedy. It sounds like a 500 days nope, of summer. Nope, I mean, no, that's, that's the irony of, of it all. Yeah. That's the irony of it all. Do you I, like that? Because <laughs> it could be that. I mean, it sounds more like a comedy. What's every that time bowling movie that Every time he's watch. reminded, yeah, he just forgets. Yeah, the one with the hook? Bowling for Columbine? Mm. Oh, Kingpin. Oh, that's Kingpin. a great bowling Kingpin. 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 That's a really good bowling movie. <laughs> all right, so now that we've heard all their pitches, Ladies and Josh. Yes. Ladies and Joshelman. Uh, <laughs> Josh. Let's, uh, I mean. Osh Gosh Productions. Let's Gosh Josh Productions. Would like to, uh, give so, this is all our money for all three rounds? Yeah, no, no, uh, no, no. no. Oh, we, we, we set our money. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. We get more money. Just, think, just think about the animals. Just think about the animals. I forgot. We have unlimited, unlimited loads of money. Okay. Just, just think about, okay. think yeah. about furry creatures with four legs mm -hmm. and round eyes. Mm -hmm. Tiff, would you like to go first on oh, passing out your first? Hmm. Well, to be completely honest, I just want to keep my money. Thank you. Ooh, damn. Everybody <laughs> sucks. Damn. I mean, you can do that because if you don't, if you can't make a choice, you're okay, iffy production. Yours is a horror about a con artist fighting yep. the he, fighting the machines part. that he designed. Okay, I really like that one. Mm. Thank you. That one was the bowling one that he turns into. You? Yep. I was trying to make a Mexican thriller for you. What's that one again? <laughs> Senor Trump. 
<laughs> in Mexico. He's Mexican. Didn't reach him. Didn't no. reach her. Didn't reach the her. irony I'm is sorry. that he's actually Mexican. Didn't reach her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. So for me, I lost you at Hitler, didn't I? You lost me. Mine's about um, an oppressed bear that comes out on top of his We know. His name's Isaac. We heard the pictures. Oh, his name is Isaac. Oh, his name's Isaac. Oh, his name's Isaac. Oh, his name's Isaac. And he's brown, just like you. I knew it was a he. He's a brown bear. <laughs> I, 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 All male No, no, Isaac Abyss. What's Isaac-a-bith. new? Isaac Abyss. Mm. Yeah, Isaac Abyss. <laughs> okay, well, for me, so we gotta get rid of our money, right? Yep. Okay, well, I wanna give you 20. I'm gonna oh. make a, I'm gonna make a woman give, movie next. I wanna give you. You better. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, what they yeah. keep saying every year, you know. Yeah. I, I wanna give. Every movie now is gay or lady. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> or, or minority. A, or an animal. Yeah. Or an animal. You know. I like the minority part though. Yeah. Me yeah. Too. Right. They need to make. Yeah. They need like, to make a minority woman yeah. movie, don't they? Shouldn't they? Minority they should. woman Maybe movie. Maybe a lead. We should uh, make a Asians can't get into Harvard. Yeah. Ambiguous minority. Minority report. Ambiguous, so it appeals to everybody. Right. Uh, okay, well, I want to give 30s, you know, Asians relatable. can't get into Harvard. The movie. The movie. The struggle. <laughs> I want to give you guys another one right here. Oh, wow. Another one here. Oh, thank well, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do these, and then do that. Oh, I guess somebody. Yeah. Everybody got money from Tim. All right. Wow. Because I'm a nice producer. Thank you. Okay. You're very nice. Doing business. Good. Doing business, business with just King Films. Thank you. You're, I'm not going to fail. I'm going to teach you profits. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're going to they're gonna tank. To you're going to spend so much money on them. They're not going to be able to make I'm profits. I look forward to these. You won't regret this. Right. Well, the only so thing I will regret is not putting more in more in the Marvel movie. Um, Do you want me to take money away? No, 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 I love you. You should. You should. Yeah, yeah, you should. You should. The is very popular. I don't think you need this much money. All right, so I gave. Steve and Bart, 30 mil. And then Joe, I gave 20. I could totally make this film for 20 mil. Yeah, and then Casey, I gave 25. 25. 25. And there's going to be sex. Oh, you should have said it. <laughs> I should have said it. <laughs> you might Jesus. Have a couple more. That's the best part. <laughs> I want to see who he's having sex with. Yeah. <laughs> OK. People are going to be wizard. fucking cac- cactus. <laughs> I was um, bored by most of your pictures. But I will say <laughs> that you I come on think... set and pet a bear. I don't want to pet a bear. Who wants to pet a bear? However, I do. Gio's not here. You're I supposed to pitch them to do something they want to do. Who wants to pet a fucking bear? I will I say, uh, I think that bears need a good redemption arc after the the Revenant yes. came out. You know that exactly. was very a mean bear. Yeah. You know, and so I think not all bears are mean. Not all bears should, are the same bear. It's you a good know? Random, so random, yeah, random. I will give you ten million dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The rest of my money I'm going to give to Joe because I think his movie is controversial. Thank you. And even if it gets negative press, that's it's going to get gonna a lot money. of press. We're going to make a no lot of money. No matter what, we're going to make a money. It's going to get a <laughs> lot of press. Much. It's very polarizing. People will be angry. Yep. Yep. They will be talking about it. They will be pissed. Everybody and you don't even know. Mad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna piss off both Republicans and Democrats. Exactly. You don't think yep. you piss everyone off to have a movie where it's only straight white guys, and then all the, all the even inanimate objects are played by straight white guys? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's not the most controversial shit. Funny. Are you fucking absolutely kidding me? I don't so, need more money going there. So you gave Joe ninety-five million dollars. I think she I gave, gave him Joe ninety-five million. million. We're gonna make this movie I mean, opulent. Uh, wow. It's also gonna be talked about how much money was spent making this movie and how what a waste of money. I got a hundred million, <laughs> hundred million and fifteen. Damn. Mm. <laughs> I think he won the whole game. Do we need I, another I one? I need 900 million. <laughs> I need 900 million. Uh, I got 10. But I do feel bad for the bears. <laughs> okay, well, I really enjoyed Bart's movie. Oh, thank you. And so I'm going to give him 60 million. Oh, thank you, thank God. I and need 900 more million. 60. And okay. uh, 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 Steve, I like yours, so I'm also going to give you 25 million for oh, that. Oh, thank you. Um, Casey, I'm a little bit confused about your movie, but I feel like there's potential. <laughs> Easily in there. distracted though. That's that's the best one. This I is, feel like is, I feel like there's potential. The I feel like there's potential. So I'll I'll give you I'll give you uh I'll I'll, I'll give you. Maybe if she was million. easily distracted, you would have got some I'll money. I'll give you fifty million. And Joe, you got fifty mil for me. Oh, Damn, this yeah. is how shitty movies get made. Joe, uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna give you five million because. Thank you. I'll just give you fifteen yeah, million. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I wanted to buy an island, but I guess I we can't do that no, in this game. So. I would <laughs> rather spend the money elsewhere, too. You have to invest you. your money. All right, Josh, who do you want to give your money to? Hmm. Think about the mammals. Animals sound good. Joe, what was your movie again? <laughs> Senor, Senor, Senor Trump? 
<laughs> Send you, okay, you want me to Don't make over? a bitch of the game. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Remember, Casey. the beat farmer. It's I, like I forgot about thing. the beat farmer part. I like your film. So I'm going to give you. We'll make it a comedy. Yeah. I'm going to give you 20 million. And I'm gonna give Steve the rest of my money because it was really Ooh, fucking good. Wow. Really you made a great decision. You made a great decision. <laughs> for all the straight you white males, you want to support a movie? No, so here's the thing. All straight white. Here's the thing. In a, a musical park. Josh, I can't put your name on the producer's thing because it's not a straight white male. You know what? You understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's giving you 85 million. I know it's awesome, but we'll both know that you did it. Yep. That's right. And that's right. Wow. Wait, what? Uh, we can we can work with an alias or something. We'll figure it out. Okay. All right. Well, that's. It'll work. That's straight white end. Josh. Mm. <laughs> that's yeah, that's good. his production. Is that's pretty good. <laughs> no, white Josh. White Josh. <laughs> well, that is pretty much the end of round one. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Why would fun. you support him on that? <laughs> All right. So after round one, it looks like Bart, you have a hundred million. Joe, you have a hundred twenty million. Steve, you have 140 million, and Casey, you have 60 million. The straight white males win again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Come on, we're better movies. Every we're making year. a comeback. Even with a diverse production team, yeah. it doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. We needed right. this win, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna reset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we needed this win. Reset, so guys, please draw your yeah. new cards. All right, moving on to round two. Let's see, who do you guys want? To hear first. Joe. Okay. Again? Yeah. Hear from you Joe again? Last he was here first uh, last time. Actually, no, Casey. Okay. okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's so random. Actually, no. Okay. Or can we all agree? Yeah. Just kidding, Casey. All okay. right. So we are now looking at a summer blockbuster, okay? Ooh. We're looking at a spy movie. Ooh. Ooh, move over James Bond, move over Mission Impossible. We're looking at a jacked up exterminator. Ooh. Okay? Ooh. Now, check it. Las Vegas has a huge uh, insect problem. <laughs> All right? At, at the three top the casinos, yes. And uh, they need this jacked up exterminator to go wreck some havoc on these yeah. insects. That's dope. And he's a spy? What is he spying and, on? Well, or she? the exterminator is just a front. Because mm -hmm. he is actually a spy, he's spying on these three Las Vegas casinos to hopefully rob them. Mm. Mm. Rob them clean. Who's the villain? He's the villain and the, the casino hero? security guards. Oh. Yes. Who's the person that runs the casino? And here? we'll get your pick of the casinos to shoot at. Oh. Whichever casinos you want to shoot at, we're going to shoot at those mm -hmm. ones. Does he have a love interest? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Oh yeah, it's that's the uh, cocktail girl <laughs> by, by the bar. Very powerless, weak woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. wow. No, 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 no. But that's that. She's also a spy, though. Oh, what she really is is a spy. Yes. Oh, double spy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Seems double like spy. they're a do lot they know spies that they're both spies, or is it like they're, Mr. and Mrs. Smith? They're working against each other. So yes. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Wow. Yes. Something familiar but different. They're they're in Vegas. Oh, sounds very, like you are coming Vegas. up with these ideas. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, that, that is a role of a producer. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I like creative freedom for Do I get for a co-writer credit? Yeah, do I get co-writer credit? Oh, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> whatever you like. Uh, you know, I know I know. you said you wanted us to choose which casino we want to uh, film at, but, I mean, how did you visualize which casino you were thinking of? Well, I am partial to uh, the Venetian, oh, okay. the Bellagio. Okay. I mean, it's just grand with, uh, with the, the fountains. Mm. And, uh, and I had to go with the uh, Aria. Okay. Yes. I think the Aria. circus circus will have a lot of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. The moment you said circus circus and bugs, I just saw little bugs in their little circus. <laughs> <laughs> like the bug life portion in California. Wait, so he's a spy that's there to exterminate the bugs, but he really put the bugs there to take down the casinos? <laughs> it's, oh, it's a controversial, it's a conspiracy, yes. Mm. Mm. Or is it that there is no bugs, but he's pretending that there's bugs? No, there are bugs, there are bugs. There's yes. a lot of bugs. Yes. Ah shit, it's a roach! Like that. Will any bugs be harmed in the making of this Absolutely film? Absolutely not. It's just gonna be CGI bugs. Oh, bug oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, so the majority of the uh, yeah, CGI the, uh, is a lot of money. The budget yeah. will be in yeah, in the, the hotel rentals for our producers, our friendly yeah. producers, and as well as the CG mm -hmm. bugs, yes. Alright, I think we've uh, heard enough from your pitch. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess the next person, do you guys Steve. Steve. Yeah. My movie is a summer comedy. 
-hmm. Who would you say is one of the greatest rappers in the rap game of Eminem. all time? Eminem. Well, not him. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We can't afford him. All right. Next. Who Who is one of the greatest rappers in the game? Who Who you could probably get to do a movie? Because he loves being in different mediums. Of things. Ja Rule. Seth Rogen. <laughs> Curtis 50 Cent <laughs> Jackson. Thank you, Tiff. Okay, so How this. How do you know that name? Yeah, because Eminem discovered him. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Well, that's true. Anyway, good, 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 good. We, we can't go afford on. Eminem. Go on, go on. It's a comedy. You have 28 it's seconds. Yeah, go on. Okay, so this movie is a, it's a co summer comedy about a, a bike messenger. For comedy, no. About a bike, a preppy bike man, uh, messenger who um, takes his dog to get shampooed, and his dog gets mixed up with Curtis Fifty Cent Jackson's dog. So now he has to go to Curtis Fifty Cent Jackson's compound to track down his stolen dog. Wow! <laughs> mm. So he does this on a bike. He does it on a bike. Well, that's that's his main method of transportation. So is yes. Curtis Fifty Cent Jackson the villain? He is the antagonist, yes, uh -huh. but he is not um, a knowing villain. He he just he just took his dog, thinking it was his dog, but they're very similar looking dogs. They were just shampooed. What kind of dog is it? Um, because it's a comedy, so it's um, right, the, right. the dog is a Bichon Frise. Bichon Frise. Mm. Mm. And uh, any females have dogs in this movie or no? Uh, yeah, there's actually a, a very cute dog walker. Yeah. Oh, she's a, a who a is walk played on by a, a half a Filipino, half uh, name one white. Uh, I don't know one. And what? Her <laughs> dog gets switched with a, hit, a 50 cent stuff? We'll do casting, like extensive casting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And what is the wardrobe? Sounds about right. Your vision, about right. Your vision with the wardrobe. The wardrobe? Um, uh, just plain, like, 90s style um, mm -hmm. clothing on the preppy guy. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a man out of time. He, mm -hmm. He's not quite with the age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. He's preppy. Who do you see playing the preppy guy? Um, we would love to get Will Ferrell. We would love it. Oh, he's kind of old. <laughs> uh, but but after Sherlock Holmes, we agree with you. Uh -huh. So uh, so we're looking at uh, we were circling some some pretty big name actors that are already potentially attached. I was thinking the guy Andy oh. from The Office would be funny as a as a juxtaposition to Fifty Cent, but you know. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, we just don't think he's funny. Yeah, well, I was thinking mm. that too. So. Yeah, you just don't, don't like him. don't think he's very funny. Sure. All right. Okay. I don't think he's that funny, but we could afford well, him. Well, no, more. obviously you're a big no. fan because you wanted to no, put him in. No, we could afford him more. Because we we're not going to put the best rapper in, and yeah. we're also not going to put the best comedian in, so that's why I was. Oh, I see. It's affordable, I right? Think, I think we're good. We're done hearing. Okay, we're, we're done. done. Yeah, I think we're uh, quite finished. Bart, let's hear yours. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, um, uh, I have a custom tailored script. Oh. based off of your production company's track record. Mm -hmm. So it's a Western, which is a very, very white world. We take, we take all the Native Americans <laughs> out of here. It's all white, all straight white males based off of your guys' track record. But other track record. And it's about a nerdy white boy named Eminem, mm -hmm. AKA Marshall Mathers. Mm -hmm. and, oh, he's, he and he lives in a very white, basement and he's a basement dweller. Mm. So his life is so good, he doesn't even want it to be tainted by any minority influence or anything like that. And he relives the same white day over and over and over and over again. So it's, just, it's such a white movie that it's, I feel like it's the epitome of what you guys are looking for. I will say that our track record was only that way because we haven't been pitched movies with women or minorities. Mm -hmm. I mean, animals, I heard in the last round there's animals. Oh, I did give money yeah. to that animal And Nikki, movie. would you say that that's the bit at this point or no? Uh, the bit? Yeah. I'm sorry, there's no bit. There's oh, a okay, serious business mind. going on. Oh, uh, serious business? Because <laughs> this, this, this black man gave $95 million to an uh, all white. I mean, if some movie. people made it's good actually taste. good movies, then. Yeah, yeah. so I'm all so white. So he cares world. about. You don't care about. I race. care about the story. You care about and the story. And most of y'all's story right. sucked. All oh, white. Okay. Male. I want to hear something good. Yeah, a white guy reliving a white day over and over and over again. That's true. see. I think he Real quick, I would like to announce that Kevin Hart is attached. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you already have 50 something cents. To think about. Something to think about. You have 50 cents. No, no, no. Kevin Hart is the bike messenger. Oh, oh perfect. Well, I have Eminem, so. Old Kev, he's a personal friend of mine. We did the wedding ring we together, so I, I have a connection. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, it's cheap? not your it, turn Yeah, you're being pitch. finished. You're pretty much done now. I'm just being aggressive. Why are you still in the building? <laughs> security! <laughs> security! This man out of our building. It's just lingering. Oh, that's all. Um, mm -hmm. Any I questions? Mean, I. I I mean, would you ever consider having minorities in there? Cause I would love to. I mean, that's. I mean, I, I would even consider animals, but based off of guys' track No, record, just have the white people play minorities. I'm, I'm trying to. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's that what works. we usually that's do. Really yeah. I forgot to that's tell you that idea. there was a white guy in the bear outfit. 
Well, I don't have any questions. Do you guys play the minority bear? Yeah. I feel like oh, so it's, this is like a white modern day Groundhog's Day, yes. like a mm. like a nerdy, but with the best well, rapper alive, a younger, with the best rapper alive though. Well, he said white a lot, so yeah. I just want to make sure that I'm not with the best rapper word. alive, and he has headphones. I'm just reliving the day over and over and over again. I would have okay. made a Christmas movie. What happens movie. in his day that he's reliving? Uh, so he wakes up. Yes. He gets Eggo waffles, which is like the whitest breakfast you can think of. Uh, he gets maple syrup, yes. and then uh, later he trims his. I think uh, grits is the whitest. Sorry. Grits, uh, so he, uh, and he gr I think side of grits. spaghetti is the whitest. Side of grits, <laughs> and he, he trims his chia pet all day. And then uh, he uses his Windex on his mirror just to make sure he's still white. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. And uh, pretty much he. Uh, and you say Marshall Mathers is attached to this movie? Yes. Is there a love interest that you have in mind for uh, that? None. No? Oh. No. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, no. oh uh, there's the only minority might be a half Filipino, half white. <laughs> Love interest? I'm willing to fund that actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, to fund that. Yeah. A All female. right, what, now we're gonna have to do extensive casting. What makes extensive? Him, yeah. What makes him nerdy? Oh, you're just white. <laughs> okay, we got that, that works. That works. All right. That actually works. Uh, <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Martin, for your day. pitch. I know, right? It's a pretty boring day to relive over and over again. It's Jeez. Groundhog Day, but it's white. What time do you understand? I guess. <laughs> I'm saying it's boring. It's, so relatable. it's a completely new take. Well, thank you, Bart, for your pitch. Okay. Joe, you are the last one in the group. Oh, fuck, I forgot my story. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh -huh. All right, so, okay. Um, the year is 2020 again wow. for the second movie. Wait, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. One more and, year. And um, this movie is about uh, starring uh, Penelope Cruz. Penelope oh, yeah. Cruz. Penelope Cruz. Penelope, 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 Penelope Cruz. Penelope. She is a professional dog walker Ooh, in Washington, D.C. Mm. She walks dogs, and her only dream is to work in the White House. But, <laughs> but political. what happens is. Uh, Trump's daughter <laughs> that no one knows. <laughs> Palampa Trump, Palampa Trump, Palampa Trump. Okay. the illegitimate daughter gets kidnapped. Palampa Trump. Palampa Trump gets kidnapped, <laughs> right? And then Why she's. Why did he name her Palampa? <laughs> 20 seconds. Hey, you're not the producer. Sorry, sorry. 20 seconds ago. Balania Trump, okay? Balania yeah, Trump, Balania okay? Trump. And she gets. Like, she gets she, she, <laughs> now, and, then, and then the Russian mob is like, now you must become stripper and make us money, bitch. Yeah. And then she's like, now, um, now she's tasked to do this because the FBI doesn't like Trump and all that stuff because oh, all the shit that's going, they're like, we're not going to help you, motherfucker. And then Trump goes, you got to help me, Penelope. And then Penelope goes, it's the only way to prevent war. So then now she must be a pole dancing stripper and, and fall in love with Palampa. So it's a female lesbian love fest at the strip club mm -hmm. and she must fucking win her heart so she could prevent war from happening. What's that? What's that? There's a lot, uh, attempting to save, oh, she, she has to attempt to save the president's kidnapped daughter. For, oh, for preventing yeah. civil Palampa. war. Palampa. Palampa has to be saved. Palampa, Question. But that's a, that's because you said the name Boy. sucked, so I said no, he, 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 he did, and he's not a producer. Yeah. He wasted oh, wait, a lot of your time. He, 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 this man is still in our building. He interrupted you doing your pitch, so we wait, gave so you a few minutes. Her name is Palapa Trump. Question. I got confused with the lesbian thing. Okay, well check this out. Palapa is working at the strip club, right? Yeah. And she's afraid. But the only way to win her and make her unafraid is to love is to have her fall in love with you. And she's lesbian. Nobody knew that. So who's the stripper who's the dog walker? Penelope <laughs> Cruz is the dog walker. So who's who is she, she playing? playing? She's the dog walker okay. that needs to rescue Palampa Trump. <laughs> from the pole, uh, from pole dancing? Uh, yeah. I got it the first okay, time. Okay, I have a question. Okay. What song does she <laughs> dance to? <laughs> Great question. What song does she dance to? Yeah. Yes. Juvenile, back that ass up. Can you, right. can you sing that for me? Girl, you look good, won't you back that ass up? You a fine ass fuck up, won't you back that ass up? Looking then, then, um, back that ass up. I have a question, because we talked a lot about the name, and I got confused on the story because we were arguing about the name. So, okay. Um, her name was never Balanya. I, that's her nickname. Right, right. It's fine. The man that Mr. rudely interrupted our yeah. meeting came in yeah. yelling that. Yeah. Um, so, so Penelope Cruz one, always wanted to work Sorry. at a White House, and yeah. she's a dog walker. She's a walker. dog walker. And then she, how she runs into Palumpa Trump pole dancing and needs to bring her back to the White House in order to prevent war. Yeah. 
How does she, why did she go to the pole dancing place? Because Trump asked her personally, because she's a dog walker for the White House. Oh. And then, and then oh, Trump, so she Trump always was like, wanted to Trump work was like, there. you gotta help me. Penelope Cruz, you have to help me. That's a good Trump. Yeah, because my my daughter, <laughs> her name she's is been Penelope kidnapped Cruz by the Russians. <laughs> and then the CIA and FBI and the whole world can't know that she's actually my daughter because she's an illegitimate daughter. Oh. But if you don't get her back, he's going to be so angry. Okay, he's going to start it. War War Three because he's vengeful for the Russian mob. That's what I was trying to say. It was I so clear. It up. No, I got it the first time. Okay, I don't thank know you very much. You're yeah, not yeah. a producer for the yeah, 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 yeah. That's what happened. Oh. Now she needs to strip her way to success. So there's gonna be sex. There's gonna be lesbianness. Women are leading everything, and fucking they're they're powerful because they're they're sexual, but they're empowered. And then and then Trump has has to beg his way to help. And he's like, women, you need. I need your help. So for you, oh, if there's yeah. an LGBT member in it, it has to be sexual. Hmm. No. That's, that's no, 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 they'll be the least sexual. I'll, I'll have one, I'll have one, I'll have the security. The security, all the security will be buff women and they are the least sexual things on earth. Oh. So we'll Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Penelope is actually like un-lesbian. Un She's straight, right? She's un-lesbian, so she has to go against her, she has to go against her like straightness ways, but then she actually turns lesbian because she ends up loving Palampa. Oh, so Palampa. you think being gay is a choice? Oh. All right, well, that is the end. <laughs> that is the end. We're going to end it right there. I want a t-shirt that says, Buff women are the least sexual thing on earth. I want that t-shirt. <laughs> We're going to end it right there. Josh, who would you like to give your money out to? Oh, shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Think about the movie you funded, mm -hmm. and think about the sequel to it. I'm gonna have okay. the most butch dudes, girl dudes in the world, okay? Yeah, to take all the sexuality out of it. Yeah. yeah. Smart. Nobody's gonna Vegas, be- baby. Yo, Vegas. All the straight people will be horny as fuck. Uh -huh. All the LGBTQs, just no sex. No sex. <laughs> Never. That makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. I like... <clears throat> Come on, buddy. I like Joe's. Thank Joe's you, was really you. good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I have given you... 70 million. He doesn't even know how many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, he doesn't even remember our pictures. He just remembers <laughs> Joe's pitch. Yeah, Joe's was really good. I thought you were going to go to the, to the all-white cast oh, again, because no. I know you're biased. See, that's no. what yeah. I thought, no. too. You're always, you're always just supporting all-white casts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, Casey sound pretty good, so I'm going to give him 10 million. Man. You could come back, you know. There's no holding you back. 25 million to... Kev Hart is attached. Thank wow. you. Kev Hart. <laughs> Isn't he under a lot of scrutiny right now? Kind of controversial. Hey, all the way to the bank, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, for me, I think. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, yeah, Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu's coming. Pikachu's Wait, bullshit, attached. bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Pikachu. bullshit. Oh, we just talked to Pikachu. Interesting. He's, he's, he's busy. He's in Aspen. <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, <laughs> different shoot days, sir. Yeah, definitely different shoot days. Okay, uh, you know, I really, uh, I really actually really like yours, uh, Steve. Thank yeah, you. I like yours oh, a lot. Yeah, um, I'm I uh, I'm gonna give you uh, eighty million. Ooh, damn! Yeah. Damn it! Yeah. Damn it! I do not uh, understand this production company. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Everything oh they. I do like Pikachu. I mean, it's cool. Oh. It's cool. Uh, I do not understand your track record. <laughs> All right, uh, Casey. I like the thrill of the spy movie. And it's almost like a Mr. and Mrs. Smith type of deal. So I'm gonna give you uh, 50 Vegas million. spas. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Vegas bakeries. Yeah. Uh, Whoever has the money has the power. I hate this position. Man, I have 10 million. 10 million. Think about your track record. What you guys funded so far. Million. Mm. Um, see, yours would have been kind of interesting, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too into the story. So, Joe, I'm gonna give you the 10 million. Thank you for Ooh. making me your consolation prize. It sounds pretty exciting. <laughs> Sounds pretty exciting, so I can't wait to see it. I know you like the mm. lesbian stuff. Mm. I'm very interested in this casting part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I know yeah. you have Marshall Bruce Mathers II involved. Yes. Yes. I am willing to give you 20 million to start, and uh, it, under the condition- We also have this unknown twin brother that no one knows about, too. That's irrelevant. Um, oh, okay. oh. I'm interested <laughs> in being part of the casting process, so for an extra 40 million, that could um, that could potentially be yours. You can come on set and pet him. I don't want to pet him. I want to be part of the casting process. And scene I rehearsals. would like a love scene to be oh, added. Oh, of course. It's already written. 
Okay, Bullshit. there you go. And, uh, the rest, uh, I think. This is just I think sell out. <laughs> sell out. The rest has to go to the only other movie that had females in it. So Yay! there you go. Yay! What is this? A cocktail Wait, is, this a, lady. is this a bit? I was yeah. surprised. <laughs> I had a cocktail lady. That yeah, was a I've spy. been a cocktail server for a lot of years. So I was a spy. Spy. I was crossing my fingers because he. I need to know what happens with Palumpa. You. Okay. Um, my, my I think she'll be very too. controversial, uh, and I need to, I need people to be angry. <laughs> Mine had a female lead, but whatever. Mine had a female lead. No, it female didn't. It had 50 Cent and Kevin Hart. <laughs> no, it had the chick too. You guys asked about it. What, what chick? She was a the woman just. She was a oh, you said a walk-on <laughs> role that was half Filipino. <laughs> no, Something like that. Pretty good. <laughs> All right, Tiff. Who would you like to give your money out to? Uh, so I thought I... you were gonna give it all to Bart. I know. Because of Marshall Mathers. All right. And his so, unknown brother. In a, in a you're long, checking long, down long, a long, stolen long, dog. Long, long, long. Yes. Bike messenger. Um, and you're about Palumpa, the stripper. <laughs> checking down a stolen dog. And be cruel. That got mixed up with Curtis because he sent Jack his dog. Now he has to get his LGBT his dog. going on there and yeah. polit political stuff. Yeah. It's got everything. Okay. This is, mind this is mindless I'm popcorn you summer 15. fun. Thank you. 15 mil. And there's anime. So it's very new. <laughs> Okay, well that doesn't sell me. I don't I want my money back. Thanks. Marshall Mathers has blue hair. Oh, I mean, um, that's nice. Okay. <laughs> um. And there's a lot of little things. It's a miniature super pole. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, just, I just there's thought like, instantly <laughs> he says that he's like, I expect yeah. more. <laughs> Steve, uh, I want to see your movie. I want to see how far it can go, so I'm going to give you... Mm. He doesn't need more mil. money. Oh, thank 30 you. 30 mil. Nikki's just jealous of me. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh... Casey, I love spy movies. I love Vegas. Brainless popcorn fun, too. This is, this is um, summer, summer blockbuster. I'll popcorn. give you 20 million. Yeah. But... If you could give me co-writing credit and also a scene in the movie, absolutely. I love you, my wife. I would like to be the. I would like to be the cocktail spy. I want to be the cocktail spy waitress person that dope. takes over being the role, the lead role in the movie by the end of the oh, movie. Oh, absolutely. Do you want to? Because the first one like that. Can I ask? Absolutely. You could get that. I think that would be next level. Absolutely. Do you want to ask? Switching the role. I'm gonna act in this movie because I gave you. You gotta get both. Oh, wow. Okay. That's and co writer credit. Huh, that's you could have been. Some husbands can do that. <laughs> <laughs> you could have easily new taken Penelope Cruz's role. You could have taken Penelope Cruz's role. I don't want to be. It was made for a Latina. I don't want to be a dog walker or what was it? Yeah, a dog yes. walker. So you don't mind being a dog walker? No, no, no listen. <laughs> a dog walker that has to be hired on by Donald Trump? Yeah. I'm thinking you could come off as half Filipino. I can get I you in this movie. I want to be a spy. Mm. I can get you in this movie. He's got the blue hair. Right. You work for the spy. White House, not Donald Trump. So round two is officially done. Okay. So let's recap. Bart, you have 160 mil. Sorry, Bart, by the way. Uh, Joe, <laughs> you have 260 million. Right. Steve, you have 275 million. Thank you. And Casey, you have 145 million. All right, so let's begin round three. This is our final round, so you guys make it a real good one. So, pitchers, please grab your cards. I don't know what you guys want. I'm gonna try my hardest. <laughs> Anybody wanna pre order the script? No. no, we want to hear it first. Do we get a deal? <laughs> okay. I know. All right. I'll, I'll pre-order it. Uh, thank you. I'll put... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? All right. This movie is going to be the funnest movie mm -hmm. of the year. Okay. It's an action comedy. Oh, I like that. So you already know you're going to have fun. It's like four quadrant. Mm -hmm. Male, female, geezers, kids. Everyone can come watch this movie. Mm -hmm. This movie is about... So imagine in a world where... Uh, the blind stick factory, you know the white stick with the little yeah. red tip? Mm -hmm. That factory explodes. Mm -hmm. So now all the blind people of the world, they don't really know how to navigate this world. They're just crashing into each other all over the place. Mm -hmm. Right? So, oh, because without like the stick, they can't they get, can't, they can't get anywhere. Okay. So it's it's chaos right now. It's fucking only chaos. Stick that yeah. Only the stick. So now <laughs> this retired, old, seeing eye dog golden retriever that's stress eating, he's been really, really fat because he's a. Uh, mm -hmm. He, he, ever since he lost his job, he didn't know, doesn't know what to do. So he's been eating, got really, really fat. He's like, what can I do to save the world? Mm -hmm. This is what he does. He gets his team back together for one last job. 
to help all the blind people of the world finally see and get their asses in order so they can stay on the sidewalk and not go on the street and not crash into each other. So this movie is about animals saving the world. Okay. Wait, this golden retriever has a job doing what? Seeing eye dog. He's a seeing eye dog. Yeah, he's... Sir? But without the white sticks, he doesn't have... The a white sticks are gone! The factory's exploded! That's like Air Bud. Yeah, so this yeah. guy comes back and he goes, I have a job to do and this will help me burn calories and I'm gonna get the team back together and save the world and with a lot of ha-has. So, uh, what, what does his... Uh, stress eating, that's what oh, it says. So, what does his uh, team consist of? Oh, there's all kinds of dogs, golden retrievers, pugs. Mm -hmm. um, do, do they each have like a specific role or like... I mean, I yeah, know, yeah, yeah. So, I know like, all... so for the blind sprinters, yes. he gets his greyhound buddies okay. to come because they can keep up. Okay. And okay. then for uh, like the blind like video gamers, they uh -huh. just need to be able to play and then like kind of like pet a dog, uh -huh. then he'll get his uh, St. Bernard buddies to come and just sit there. How do, they, how do they reconstruct the white stick factory? They don't need them anymore. They realize that this whole time the white stick, that crutch was just a fallacy. They don't even need that. Yeah, it's all about the see. companionship between the blind people mm -hmm. and the canines. Who's the antagonist? Uh, we don't know because that's in the sequel. Because if you fund this movie, it's gonna be a three movie hit. Oh, so there's Later no antagonist in the first one. Uh, the, the, it's 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 very subliminal, you know. It's, oh. it's like an Annapurna production where it's like it's it's kind of oh, like yeah. inside your brain, but not. People love no conflict in movies. Oh, there's tons of conflict, but you just oh. don't even know where it's okay, coming. Okay, there's so tell much us... conflict in life. Why have it in the movie? Exactly. Okay, tell, <laughs> tell us the climax. The climax? Yeah. Well, there is a scene where all the dogs bust nuts at the same time. <laughs> what the fuck? It's technically a climax. It's technically a climax. So. That's true. Consider it. It's a climax. Okay. It's revolutionary. Interesting. I mean, it's action okay. comedy. It's pretty funny. What's your plot again? Why do the dogs bust nuts? Does it really hot for you a dog go by? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it's the white stick factory, right? Uh -huh. It oh, yeah. exploded, right? So no, we now, got that. So the yeah. blind people are just crashing into each other. The, the, the golden retriever is like, we got to save the world, guys. So he gets him and all his other seeing eye dogs. We no, she was asking what the plot was. I was asking what the plot was because I couldn't read what it said, but I got oh, it. Oh, get the what's on the car? Oh, oh, I thought you meant the plot of the movie. No. So he repitches okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, I got it. Uh, is this film rated? A G. Yeah, so it's not, it's not really <laughs> a G. <laughs> yeah. Well, human cum is R, dog cum is G. So true. Yeah. Uh, overlooked thing. It's yeah, an overlooked yeah, yeah. thing. G means good boy. It's a loophole. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, my movie is a, it's a, uh, comedy thriller. It is about uh, the movie opens uh, with a band and they're a very successful uh, rock and roll band. And one of the, the the drummer walks in on the lead singer and his girlfriend slash fiance, who is also a member of the band. So he leaves the band. He's like, "Fuck this band! I'm out. I don't give a fuck. I'm gone." Mm. So fast forward like a year and a half later, he is now a wedding DJ. <laughs> <laughs> like he's basically fucked. Okay, and he's in overly enthusiastic because he needs to make money. All right, mm -hmm. and so he comes up with a plan that will both suit his financial and personal needs to get the band back together for a reunion tour so that he can exact motherfucking revenge. Mm -hmm. And that's what the movie's about. It's about his long plan to get revenge on his ex mm -hmm. and the lead singer while getting money from the tour. Wow. Wait, if he's, how does he get revenge? Yeah, how does he get revenge if they were in the band before? Right, so so he is planning on get on wooing her now that they're getting back together. So so the uh, the the new couple, they've been together for like, you know, they're a rock and roll couple and they've been together for a while now. And so he's preying on the the weaknesses in their relationship and trying to use that. How does he plan to get the band sick. back together? Um, so he goes to them with a plan to that they can they can go to so many cities and make this much money and they've all kind of lost the key money valve so they're all kind of on the outs of what happened to them it's like one direction right now is probably like oh fuck so their band sucks already no they don't suck to... they were real well known and liked okay but then they all they because they band broke up um, they're all not successful i see okay in a very short period of time so what kind of uh band is, like you said it was a rock, rock band? and roll band yeah. okay but like what kind of rock though there's like so many different genres of rock. Uh, 
not Christian rock, because that sucks. What? <laughs> Yeah. 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 Thank you. Uh, um, yeah, they're they're like a. a Julia's pretty much asking if it's yellow punk. card or something. No, 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 exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Out, man. That's fine. Interesting. Okay, Interesting. name the four people that are acting. The four people that are in the band. Um, Mark Wahlberg. Mm, not like that. A guy named Jonah Hill. Have you heard of him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Russell Brand mm. is mm -hmm. also in the band. Yeah. Well, exactly. He's the lead singer guy. He's okay. the one that's oh, the okay. wedding DJ? Yeah, he's the one that we don't like. No, he's the one that she, oh, that she cheated on. She cheated with, okay. yeah. And the girl. And then the female is, of course, the famous everyone loves her, Aubrey Plaza. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not my god. favorite. What the fuck? <laughs> but everyone seems to love her because she's in her fucking everything. Hey. She's fucking everything. You're fired. Canceled. Oh, you like her? You're canceled. <laughs> okay. She's not from Parks and Rec, right? Yeah. Right. You guys don't like her? I like her. I like her. See? She's she's people pretty, like she's her. Fine. She's divisive. The what? High five. What's wrong with go Arby what? Plaza? Because people go, oh, you remind me of Arby Plaza uh, all the time. It's not a good He name? knows that, so That's he's just using that. that as a jab. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. yeah. It, was uh, it was a device. <laughs> all right, Steve, well, your pitch is over. Well, what? we're looking at a uh, the, the, the thriller. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like thrillers. Nail biting thriller. We have a sexy, sassy horror of sex toys hmm. who must now meet. His or her uh, in-laws for the first time during their summer vacation. Is it a him so, or her? Well, the top bidder will receive the uh, duties of casting. casting. Yes. Oh. Michael Sarah mm -hmm. or uh, Filipino uh, Hapa. Interesting. Lead actress. I like, yeah, that's up for the bidding. So, who are the parents? Uh, well, it the depends on the on the leads. Yeah, so it'd be it would be a, a kind of a domino effect. I see. Depending on who the leads are. Oh, so you don't really have a complete toy. movie. No, the concept is great. This is this is a plug and play movie right here. Why this do they hoard sex toys? As complete as it gets. Huh? They hoard sex toys. Why do they hoard sex toys? Oh, because that is that that's that's what they're into, and there's a whole niche demographic there for. I mean, I mean, there's porn, guys. There's yeah. porn. There's art films. Like but porn. no one's done a thriller, mainstream plug and play genre. Thriller yes. of sex toys movie. Where's the thriller part? Yeah. You gotta catch them all. Oh, Pokemon. The thriller part. I mean, they've gotta hide the sex toys from the Christian uh, in laws. Oh. So, they, oh. so the parents are the. Yeah. So, what will they do if they it's find the sex biting, toys? It's hiding sex toys. I mean, we're talking like white knuckle <laughs> moments. And the uh, sex toys come to life and they. Are, is it like Toy Story? Yeah, they, they, these sex Cock toys story. are on auto. Cock story. Well, this sex toy hoarder is so horny that they're they're on like a schedule of masturbation practice sessions. Mm -hmm. And so these sex toys will turn on periodically on their own on the uh, on the times that they're set for. In the luggage. Okay. In the luggage, so, in, in, in the closets, yes. What is, is it? Huh? That's scary. It's, it's All right, so what happens <laughs> if the parents... It's close to horror. It's oh. very close. What happens if the parents level... find the sex toys? Nail biting, he said. Since this is a thriller. We'll have to find out when we make the movie, don't we? You'll have to find out when you find the movie. Mm -hmm. I like to but know if exactly I'm funding the movie. Yeah. Uh, Nikki, who would you uh, like to. Well, I, think Bar I think Joe is. Oh, sorry, Joe. Joe to pitch his I'm movie. sorry, Joe. I'm sorry. I think I'm the only one left. Yeah, yes. you are the yeah. only one. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, here we go. This story. Of love. This, this story is about um, a genius. Oh, Asian. Yeah, you need a bottle. Uh, <laughs> I never thought you this were story is about a genius little. Asian guy and um, he got into Harvard because all his life what he wanted to do was become a mathlete. The only problem is he's poor and he doesn't know what the hell to do for money and he realized because he's a mathlete and he's really good at math even if he worked at a regular job there was no way he could afford this tuition and living expense and all that. So one of his shady friends named Barthley <laughs> Barkley. Nudged him on the shoulder and he was like, Hey, Kang, <laughs> you know what you should do is try out porn. It works out for me. So he goes and auditions, but the only problem is he can't fucking keep the cum inside. So he just nuts too fast. He's way too quick. Mm. One day he was really, really desperate and you know, he went into an antique shop and he unintentionally bought a magic ring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little did he know that it was a cock ring. He thought it was a bracelet because it was so big, oh. right? Just turn him into Ooh, a superhero. Right. For so he puts it on, he puts it on. Let's and then guess what? Five seconds, five he seconds, goes back five seconds. and then he can fuck the shit.
shit out of everybody, and then he becomes the calculator. It's a documentary based on a true Done. story, an Asian Done. guy that 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 became a, a porn star Done. and he didn't go to Harvard. <laughs> I thought he went to Harvard. So it's like Boogie Nights. Yeah, Boogie Nights, but, like then, like, but, then, Boogie but then when Nights. he got in, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then when he got in, they were like, oh, well, we're not going to let you in because you don't have like life skills. You're just too smart. That's it. Okay. Yeah. We want somebody with a full resume. That's what they said. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. And they're like, oh, I'm a porn star. And they're like, oh, no, that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, but his real passion was like sticking his dick inside mouth and anus and all mm -hmm. kinds of other Who's holes. Who's the dude? What's the guy's real name in the documentary? King. King Slang. 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 King Slang. I haven't heard of him. King Slang. Slang. King Slang. King Slang. Slang. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Who would you like to give your money to, Nikki? Dog saving the world. Although I'm a fan of you going back to your animal roots <laughs> in the movies. My, yes. my bear movie didn't quite make back my money. But this is four quadrant, so, like uh, I said. It's not because of the dog nutting. It's it actually it was four quadrant, <laughs> and no, then it's it very quickly switched. It's rated G. It's a N N B A I also think we'll get fined for that right now. NBA loophole. Yeah, NBA loophole. No one knows. No one knows. Um, as much as I don't want uh, the villain in my personal story to win, the best pitch was was the band DJ. <laughs> your personal but, story. No, you gave them all your money. Yes. I, the, the rest of the pitches were just so horrible. Thank you. But that like, I crazy had to let Asians my own did, villain win. Crazy Rich Asians did so well. I, like, but it's this controversial. is a documentary. Yeah, I mean, this is a I've real life story. I've never heard of this guy. That's why the documentary needs to be out. No one knows about what happened. What about all the blind people smashing into each other on the streets? And there's just too much sex and too many Damn dicks. Too we're, much we're, sex. We're redefining yeah. sex, though. It's not sex. It's not even sex anymore in this movie. I didn't really understand what happens in your movie, Casey. To be quite, they're they're honest. hiding sex toys away away from the uh, in-laws. It's like oh. dildo story. But yeah. did you hear that, that the That's blind stick store blew up? It blew up, and all the black people were smashing into each other. The that. factory blew up. And he I gets just don't his. Think the you want her to take her money? <laughs> he gets the team back together for one He's last job. That is amazing. That's fucking <laughs> genius. Dude. That is amazing. You gave hundred and five million dollars. I just couldn't. I couldn't risk my money in these other investments. Four quadrant rated and, G. Um, mm -hmm. So did you, can movie. I ask if you liked my pitch? Did you like it? I, I did like it. I didn't really like the casting as much, but I okay. feel like that's something that could yeah, be negotiated later down the world. Yeah. So we can tweak it a little. <sighs> King Kong Schlong, man. Who, uh, who would you like to give your money to? <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to have to agree with Nikki here. All these pitches were... Weird. Oh man, you They're just don't confusing. want to find a porno. I, <laughs> I will the prudish. I will go to GoFundMe I'm and find this myself. <laughs> That's what he's saying. And we, we, That's we, what you said. Well, he's saying you're prudish because you don't want to fund a porno. Who said that? Did I give out my money yet? Now Ooh. you lost out on the money I was about to give you. Ooh. That's what Steve said about you. I didn't say Ooh. anything. Ben, I was hype manning your comment. I was just hype manning it. I'm sorry, Joe. I was planning on giving you some. But that's, that proves that you're prudish. <laughs> you're proving He's doubling that down. That you're proving. Doubling down on Doubling down smart. We can't switch smart. out the sex toys for uh, for uh, Jesus candles. Well, yes. Oh. Jesus ordering, candles? Ordering Jesus Since candles. When am I Take so out religious? the booklet. And we'll, and we'll flip out the, the villains, the, the in-laws. Don't lose it. You're going to lose money, too. Honestly, Don't do it, Casey. I think you're losing No! Money. You killed yourself. You're killing yourself, dude. Dog saves the world. <laughs> I, four I quadrant. was going to give you. Oh Almost my god. I mean, you're well, no, trying to well, make me out of some like prudish religious person. No, 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 person. no, no, no. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm open. like, what? I'm open to I'm sorry, dude. I'm open to I'm going to buy it to buy it. Dog saves the world. All of it? Dog saves the world. All of it. Dog saves the world. There's dog come in that movie. She needs to prove she's not a prude. But that's worse than prude. Only the dog sex. It's rated G. Yeah, rated G, yeah, rated G. Good dog sex is rated G. 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 Yeah, you, That's you, a takeaway. You know what sold Tiff is the dangerous. part where all the dogs nut together. That actually killed me, the climax. <laughs> it is a climax. A climax. Jesus. That was hilarious. <laughs> My God. I was going to talk to you about changing out the toys, but then you <sighs> wanted to get all Jesus okay. candles on We're on the same nah. wavelength. Get what are you talking here. about? Yeah, huh. dug yourself a hole. <laughs> all right, so I think I'm going to give... Bart, forty million oh, yeah, yes. because I do like animal movies. Yeah, especially action with the dog comedy. With the do <laughs> action comedy. Hey, what about the? What about your people? Like they say, Asians don't fund Asians. And I'm enough. gonna give forty million to Steve <laughs> oh, because you. I love a, I love a great redemption movie. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you went the sex route. <laughs> 
I mean, I mean, because you know, like I was just trying to meet all you those things. Like, the they they don't yeah. they don't put they don't put Asian males in like sexy roles, right? Joke. Like he's a porn star. Joke. I'm going to give you 15 million. I just oh. need five. I'm, oh, no, oh you just you only want just five? Yeah, that's all I need. I need, <laughs> I need, like, I need ten million. more. I'll it's take the documentary. Right? It's a documentary. Five I'll, five I'll take ten. <laughs> Give it to somebody else. I'll take ten. And this could be a, a golden retriever Pokemon. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna. <laughs> you can give it to me if you want to. I'm gonna give you an extra. Okay, so thank you. You're oh, gonna wow. give me right, this one's for my pocket. Uh, <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm gonna give five to Casey. Wow. So that's pity. a total of pity. ten for me. The um, way you gave it was uh, well, wow. Yeah. By the way, we have pornos, so it could be made for cheaper. Mm. Jokes on you guys. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of the people that gave you money. Wow. <laughs> well, on YouTube, that didn't fund it. Oh. And, uh, well, you got all your like money. You got all your yeah, money. Yeah, that's you all you need. That's all you needed. And uh, I'm gonna <laughs> give my last five million to Steve. Thank you very much. So Thank that you. would be a total of forty-five million on my part. You didn't Thank give Bart no money. I gave him forty million. Yeah. But she didn't want it. I to gave a, I gave Bart forty uh, million and I gave Steve forty five million. Is Bart with your uh, dog saves the world movie? With your dog nut movie? Dogs <laughs> nutting everywhere movie. <laughs> that's just one scene. That's guys. one scene. That's not the whole movie. Yeah. That's, the climax, the movie. Yeah. that's the climax. That's the climax. Yeah, exactly. Just that's one. what he's gonna be talking it's about. Downhill There's after a show that. Just with his scene. cock ring movie. <laughs> There's Casey with his uh, <laughs> sex toy hoarding. Well, religious yeah, hoarding, you're, 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 sex you're, toy hoarding. Uh, yeah. Religious That's sex That's maybe hoarding. a road trip movie, but I don't, I'm not sure yet. Uh. Vacation with me in love. And then there's Steve with your movie. Ah. Where one it's band member fucked the other band, band member. Movie. A lot of sex in all Revenge. of these, actually. But this Very one primal. was Except justified. Except for this wholesome Dog Saves the World movie. It's primal. There's nutting. This is for one scene. And guiding what the people nut? who are blind. They have to hump together. It's mainly about saving the blind people. Yeah. Okay, I've made my choice. <laughs> and? Yeah. That is what it's about. And <laughs> eating eye dogs. Yeah. All of you guys have good picks, but... Steve. My man. <laughs> I, I, knew I, I knew I could count on you, baby. I knew I could count on you, baby. Damn it, John! <laughs> <Josh. laughs> <laughs> 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 we won, baby! We won! Oh, my gosh. Wait a minute. Oh, that is the end of the game. It's the whole time. Oh, totally. Bart, yeah. You have three hundred and five million dollars. Yeah. Joe, you have two hundred and seventy-five million. Casey, you have one hundred fifty-five million. And Steve, oh my gosh, Steve, five hundred and thirty million dollars. Wow. That's a record right there. That's wow. all. That's a half a billion, dude. Yeah. Half a billion. Yeah. We're going to make some fun stuff. Oh. Damn. I think. Well, I, I'm, I'm excited Sorry. to see your movies being produced, all of your guys' movies being produced. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, maybe in uh, 20, 2025, right? 2025, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll probably see those. I know what happened to Palumpa. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below on which one was your favorite movie pitch. Till next time. Bye, guys. Peace. Bye. Peace.